Hi, this is Involved Innovation YouTube channel. In this video, we will see about what is diamond problem in Java and why we need to really worry about this diamond problem because the diamond problem is always linked with multiple inheritance. Multiple inheritance is something if a subclass inherits from two different classes. So in this case, for example, there are two different classes. One is super class A and super class B. Here we are trying to create a new subclass and if you try to extend that super class A and super class B, this is called as multiple inheritance and this is not possible in Java. So if this is not really possible in Java, then why we need to really worry about diamond problem? And there is no need to worry about diamond problem till Java 7, but with the default method in the interface, we need to really worry about diamond problem. So we will see this with an example. First, let's take we have an interface named as persist data. So here in this persist data interface, I have a method, abstract method, right? And here I am trying to create two different concrete class which implements this persist data. So first I create analog class and that implements the persist data. And here I am writing a concrete write method. And in this write method, I am trying to print out the statement write in note. So I will also create another class digital which implements the persist data. Here I try to create a write method and I will try to simply print out write in hard drive. So now we have two different classes which implements the same persist data interface. Now we will try to create a class and this class named backup. When I try to extend analog, this is not a problem because we are just trying to inherit only one class. This is basic inheritance. There is no problem. So if it tries to extend one more class like digital, then that's where the problem is. This is not acceptable in Java. We will try to do the same with interface. So here we have an interface and this interface is persist data as we have seen in last example. Now here instead of analog and digital classes, I will just rename it to interfaces, okay? So if I rename it to interface, then I need to extend the persist data, no longer implementing the persist data because this is an interface. So if you want to inherit an interface from another interface, then you need to use the keyword extends. So here in this case, I am trying to create a default method, which is right. In this default write method i am just trying to print it out write in note and here in the digital interface i am trying to create a default write method and i am just putting it as write in hard drive this is perfectly fine till now when i try to implement both analog and digital here comes the problem the compiler doesn't know which write method to take because we have two different concrete implementation of write. One is default method here and another one default method here to avoid this in java 8 or above if your interface, which you are multiple inheriting, has the same method, in that case, you need to override that method for sure. For example, here in this case, since analog and digital both has default write method, you need to mandatorily override that method in your concrete class, which you are implementing uh, these two interfaces. You will see this with the live code. Now, based on this example, whichever we have seen, I have created a persist data interface and then I have created an abstract method right and then first i have created a analog class in this analog class i am trying to implement the persist data and in this persist data i am trying to override the right because this i need to do without that we will get a error because here this persist data has an implemented abstract method named as right so i need to override this here so here i am creating another class which is digital and i am trying to implement the same persist data here here i'm trying to override the right so this looks perfectly fine so when i try to create another class named backup and uh, if i try to extend only one class that is either analog or digital i don't have any issue i can even call the super off right if i call super off right that means in kit calls analog right so if i go there you can able to see i am going into the analog right so if i change this backup class to extend digital in that case if i try to call the super dot right it will go to the digital write method this looks perfectly fine when i try to extend both digital and as well as analog this will error out here because multiple inheritance is not possible in java so we will try to replicate the same interface scenario whichever we see so here i am changing this class to interface and here since we have changed this to interface, we should use extends keyword because 
we are extending one interface to another interface and then here we need to make this as default method this default method can have a method body and then i will go to the digital class and then i will change this to interface and then here instead of implements i need to put it as extends and then here i need to make this method as a default method so now this looks perfectly fine and then now i need to go back to the backup method here this should implement the digital now we will get error here because here we need to invoke this digital dot super dot now this will work fine if i remove this this backup class has this digital and uh, this in digital interface doesn't have any unimplemented method so we are completely fine so here we have a default method and that method we no need to override in our implementing class so we no need to override that in the backup class so for example if i try to create a main class here now if i try to execute this code i can able to see the output right in hard drive this looks perfectly fine we don't have any issues but when i try to implement digital as well as analog this is where we are coming to the diamond problem because we are trying to have the right method which is implemented concretely in two different interface so we have two different default method one in digital and one in analog which has all the implementation of this right method so if i try to do this analog here then our compiler will start complaining that it inherits default methods of write from both digital and then analog so you need to override so only solution to this is we need to override this here i can write my own write code or else i can invoke either digitals or analogs super method for example here in this case i can invoke analogs super dot write so if i try to execute this again i can able to see right in notebook so this is how the diamond problem is resolved in java interfaces which has the same default method in two different implementing interfaces here what happens if we try to make the right method in digital or analog to a abstract method so here i am removing this default and i will make this right as abstract so if you go to the backup if i try to remove this it will error out because the digital has an implemented right and this backup class doesn't have any right method so this need to be implemented so here in this case also we need to override the right method because this digital has an implemented abstract method named as right for that we need to make sure this backup class overrides that particular method so if i try to override the right method it will go off so if there are two or more interfaces which has the same default methods or which has a same method which is default in one interface and not implemented in other interface in both the cases we need to override the right method in the concrete class whichever you are implementing that particular interfaces this is how the diamond problem is resolved in java interfaces thanks for watching this video for more videos on java and in programming subscribe to this channel thanks for watching and hit like if you like this content